guys, welcome to my new video. Today I'm bringing you a review of the book The Witches of the Glass Castle, which is this one. And I'm talking about this today because this book has been released quite a couple of times, I believe. And um, it is now being re-released by Off Tomes Publishing as well as its sequel. And yeah, and it's being released today. So I'm talking about it today. Um, it's by Gabriela Lepore and I was lucky enough to receive an e-copy of this book by Off Tom's Publishing in exchange for an honest review. And that's what I'm here to do today. So first of all about this book, it's a contemporary fantasy um, centering all around a young girl and her brother. Um, I believe they're both around, well they're teenage, teenaged aged, they're both teenagers. I believe, I don't think their um, ages are stated in the book, but I believe they are both between, let's say, 15 and 19, but I rather believe them to be 16 and 17. But I'm not sure, so I would go from 15 to 19, somewhere in that age range. And um, they're normal teenagers until something happens. I believe they set fire to their house. So this is said in like the first sentence of the book or something, and it's not really um, being... Um, not really important to the book but just so you know it's not a spoiler or anything and they get um carted off by their mother and aunt to this well castle that's pretty much the only word for it where um, an older woman dwells by the name of Wendelin and apparently as their mother and aunt tell them they're witches and they are supposed to go live with Wendelin for the summer and learn to control their powers yeah so obviously that's a pretty big shock because so um, I've lived my whole life without knowing there's anything special about me and now you're telling me I'm a witch, my brother's a witch, my mother's a witch and my aunt is a witch. What's going on? And to that they have to spend their summer there so obviously they miss out on all the things you do in summer like meeting your friends, going to the pool and whatever the hell they may or may not do during the summer. So yeah, that's a problem. And then um, they arrive there and they find out that it's more, well, it's in the synopsis of the book, I think it says it's kind of a, a boarding school, but I wouldn't really say that because they're like 10 to 15 kids and um, they live there with Wendelin and they are supposed to learn about their powers, but they don't really have classes and it's not really an, a boarding school, I don't think, it's just... This older woman, older woman, or this older witch who knows a lot about being a witch takes in all those kids and helps them find their power or control their power. So, not really a body school in my opinion, but whatever. Let's not get hung up on that. So they're there, they make friends or they don't, whatever, and try to find their power. I'm not really going to um, say any more about what happens in the book because first of all, I don't think there is much that's happening and second of all I don't really want to spoil you that's just like the first two or three pages of the book and I think that's all you really need to know everything else will kind of unfold um, as you read the book so about the book itself I rated it three stars because I just it was interesting but I didn't really connect to it that much so I read it in like a day and a half because I didn't have much to do so it really flowed easily and I did enjoy myself by reading it, but it's not something like I'm considering whether to read the sequel or not. I'm not sure about it because I kind of want to know what happens, but I don't, but I also kind of do not want to continue reading it. So that's pretty much why I read it at three stars. So it's pretty much in the middle between I liked it and I didn't like it. So the things that I liked or didn't like about the book. The characters themselves, I didn't really, themselves, I didn't really connect to them because I didn't feel they had really distinct personalities. They felt kind of flat and yeah, I just, I don't really know what to say about the characters because they didn't really stick out or anything. And the same goes with the plot. I mean, yeah, something happened, but it was just like their life there unfolding and yes, they hit a couple of snacks and but it wasn't really, really anything much. So 
yeah, it wasn't really bad. I didn't have a problem with the characters or with the plot, but it just, it wasn't really there, if you know what I mean. Then the thing that really annoyed me in the beginning and then which I liked at, toward the end was the romance. So the girl, um, she kind of meets this other guy who's there and he's from, he's a different kind of witch and obviously they're not supposed to like each other and then obviously they do. So in the beginning, well, it's the classic from enemies to lovers trope, which I don't think was really done well. So I have to say toward the end, when they already were aware of their feelings and were doing something about it, then I kind of liked it because then I kind of felt like, okay, they, they were good together and I didn't mind the relationship. But at the beginning it was very, well, I, do, I don't want to say slow because I just, I didn't see their relationship unfolding and well, so he is the bad guy and he's more powerful than her and there was a situation or not just, well, there was a situation which, which really compounded those feelings for me, but it was the whole beginning of the relationship once it started to kind of begin, although by this point they were still denying their feelings and by this point I wasn't really into the relationship but it gave me distinct twilight vibes. The whole lion and lamb thing, like I was reading it and my um, friend was next to me and I was like, I'm getting twilight feels, you know, the lion and the lamb, what? I, I don't have a problem with twilight, although I, I find that scene to be quite disconcerting and even more so in this book, but it's pretty much the same thing. He's like, I'm so dangerous, stay away from me. She's like, no, I won't stay away from you. I was going to say, I love you, but she's in the world that she's in love with him and he is just like, she's way beneath me. I don't have feelings for her and anyways, I'm too dangerous for her. And that's really like, I really didn't like that. <laughs> Not at all. I, I was like, I was torn between laughing and crying because it's just so weird. I don't know, again, this is a trope that I usually like and I don't mind some either of the two partners in the relationship holding back because they feel they're too dangerous for their partner, which is most of the time what happens with the enemies to lover thing. And I kind of like it, but at this one, I didn't. It was, it was like, I had, I, I thought about the scene in the Twilight movie, like, I don't know what to say about that. It was it was really weird. But once they kind of at least accepted their feelings and you could see that now it was truly beginning to unfold, then I kind of liked it because then the whole I'm too dangerous. He was over that part and um, whatever. So it was kind of I could more easily accept it and then I really thought like okay they would um, really work well together and I think they would be cute together and I can tell that they truly love each other although maybe the, the, the depth of their feelings aren't really known to them yet. So I really liked the later part of the relationship but I did not like the beginning. Oh, yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about the book like it's it's not much but yeah. One thing that again struck me about the book in a more negative way is the whole we're teenagers, we know better than adults. Why can't you just tell someone? I don't get it. Like, in general, like, not just in books, like, if you are there, if you do have a problem, go to an adult. Like, they truly can help. Maybe not your family, depending on whatever situation you're in, but seriously. Thinking you can work everything, everything out by yourself or with your friends it just doesn't work. Like, it never works. It always ends up biting you in the ass. Just involve a responsible adult, please. And in general, if you're having trouble with your friends or your siblings or whomever, just fucking talk to them. Like, there was another thing. The siblings had trouble and they were just... They weren't really talking to each other about those problems and then the whole problem that built later on in the book with um, the brother getting into real deep trouble like it could have been avoided if she just told him some more because he thought she was involved with a guy who she wasn't involved with and he kind of okay 
So this is kind of a spoiler. So he gets approached by this guy who wants him to turn to the dark side and he says no. Then um, he kind of comes upon his sister and her friend talking or I don't really know what, how, I don't remember how it happened, but pretty much she says, okay, there's this guy and he's bad for me, but kind of I like him. And her brother immediate, immediately assumes it's the same guy he was approached by, but it isn't, okay? And he tells her, no, you gotta stay away and whatever, and obviously she doesn't. And then he gets again approached by this other guy and um, he says like, leave my sister alone or whatever. And the other guy is like, what? But he doesn't say, I don't even know your sister. He says, what will you give me if I leave your sister alone? So, and now the brother is being pressured into doing something he doesn't want to do to protect his sister, even though his sister isn't even in danger because the guy his sister is talking about is a whole different guy from the guy he is talking about, which is because they didn't even tell each other the names of the guys they were approached by, or the brother doesn't even tell his sister that he was approached by a guy. Like, what the fuck, just talk to each other, please, 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 just talk to each other. I just, I just don't get it. Like, what is it with humans in general? Why can't you just communicate? So that's pretty much it for the review. I know it was more of a negative review, but all in all, it wasn't that bad of a book. So I rated it three stars. And again, I'm still considering whether or not to read the second book in the series, because I just don't like leaving series unfinished. But that's a good thing about the book. At the end, the way it ended, it kind of, it could just end there. It could be a standalone. So if you do not want to continue, continue reading after reading the first book that's perfectly fine but it's also kind of set up so that there could be something else sometimes with books i feel like um there was an end why do you continue and it's not with this book i feel like you could totally continue with the second book or you could just not and that's really good and if you're wondering why i'm kind of like all over the place right now. I already filmed a review, but I filmed it in German because it's of another book that's only available in German and I did not like this book at all. And I kind of had to talk about my feelings and so I'm still kind of the way I am right now. So I hope that's fine. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know in the comments that you thought about this book, if you've read it or if you want to read it or whatever. Bye!